Canadians consider themselves human rights leaders. Uh, we have a reputation for being at the forefront of adopting new legislation, new, new standards. Of being good in the world, but we've seen that become eroded by the activities of some Canadian companies overseas. number of Canadian companies, especially the oil, gas and mining companies, are implicated either directly or indirectly in the violation of human rights. And sometimes it's a violation or destruction of the environment, which in turn destroys the ability to grow crops, completely disrupts the ways of life for indigenous people. There have been serious problems with heavy-handed security guards that are there to guard the mine or oil site. Villagers have been forcibly evicted from their homes and their homes burned to the ground. Usually nothing's done. The victims are not compensated and oftentimes they are silenced by intimidation and threats. One of Amnesty Canada's primary objectives is to uh, have Canada enact laws to hold Canadian companies accountable for human rights violations committed overseas. Companies based in other countries are also accused of violating human rights. So why focus on Canada? It's because we're one of the largest players. So what we do in Canada can have a huge impact on the rest of the world. Over three quarters of the world's mining and exploration companies are headquartered in Canada. People don't want those human rights violations being committed in, in Canada's name. Amnesty International's Business and Human Rights Program is about making sure that companies respect human rights. As a Canadian, I feel that this is where I can make a difference. <laughs>